to every wimpy kid. Where'd you hear this from? You don't remember? Because there's, there's one or two ways. Who told you? Just, just give me a hint. Who told you this? Slam put a bunch of stuff in this bag. I have no idea what it is, but we're about to find out. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Nate, thanks for a reminder. I am. Um, yeah, I was a big fan of Alan Iverson. Uh, he wore a sleeve. He's kind of the the original guy to wear arm sleeves. Yeah, I used to go into my mom's sock drawer and cut her socks and um, wear them as arm sleeves. The worst part about it, I would only do it like around the house. I actually had an arm sleeve for like basketball, but yeah, she got she wasn't too happy about that either. I think I made up for it. I think I made up for it though. So I used to, um, when sleeves started to get, become more popular, uh, yeah, she was slow like these, but like I would have to get, they never made like kids like shooting sleeves. So I would have to get like an adult one and my arm wasn't big enough for an adult one. So they had to sew it to like make it actually like fit my arm. But yeah, you should cut every single sock. And it was, it was like the good socks too. It was never, it was never like an old dingy one. Nah, I just got the, <laughs> good socks. <laughs> oh yeah, my sister's a devil, man. I went <laughs> in the middle of the night. Or like before we go to bed, I'll ask her to make me um, a peanut butter and jelly. And um, little did I know that she would put salt and pepper on it every time she made it. And it wouldn't tell me. And I had to, it, it wasn't enough for me to know. Yeah, she's going to hell. So <laughs> she's going to hell. I guess one time I actually like, I guess, found out, but like, I don't know how often she did it. I never asked, I'm gonna ask her after this actually. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it back, bad memories now. This is, I don't even wanna see this anymore. I don't even wanna see. <laughs> this can go. Damn. This is dope. This is by far the best thing in the world. So I had these on my wall my junior year of college, last year of college. My goals, athletic goals, and academic. Academically, it was to graduate summer 2018. I did that. Uh, GPA higher 3.39, which is what I had at the time I made the goal. I believe I did that. Um, academic All-American. 2018, yes. Big East, all academic team, yes. Big Five, academic, yeah. Scholar, I think the year, whatever, yeah. Get it, did all that. The Athleticals, there was one, two, three, four, eight. I got seven of the eight. I was first team All-American, first team All-Big East, first team All-Big Five, which is like the Philly schools. Um, national champions, regular season champions. The Big East is what we didn't get, but we got the Big East tournament champions. Biggest play of the year, national play of the year. Across every single thing off these two lists, except for one. One of the best movies ever made. One of the funniest movies ever. I could watch this and cry from start to finish. Every single time, every single time. Oh. Favorite scene. When he's on the balcony with the stereo, I used to do that as a kid all the time. He used to bop the head. Um, when they're in the car and he cracks his head on the, on the window, 
Uh, when he yells Emilio a thousand times, I, yeah, every, every line is hilarious. Every line. Mike and Ike's. I was never truly a fan of Mike and Ike's, but my man Josh Hart always had a, a five gallon bag in his room when we were roommates in college. So, uh, I mean, even when he was in his room or wasn't in his room, I would sneak in and grab a, a handful every time. So, and then, yeah, it became one of my favorite snacks. Favorite candies for sure. Not that often anymore. Honestly, whenever he's around, because he always has a, whenever, yeah. I try and stay away from him because it's like, yeah, addicting. So, I try and stay away from it. What else? What else? <laughs> Beyblades. Beyblades. I used to, I was obsessed with those when I was younger. It was like a year or two phase where I was collecting these and using these and. Don't know why I just phased out of that real quick, but yeah, there was a moment in time where this is all I would do. This is all I would do. I have no idea. I think the show, there was a show. There was a show and then like, I think that's how it starts with everything. And then you see these commercials as kids, you know, whenever you see these toy commercials, you know, you gotta be the first one to get it, so. I was like in second and third grade, or first and second grade, so whatever age that is. Seven, eight, I think, yeah. The good old days, the simpler times. It's probably one of my favorite games ever. Guitar Hero. I still have it, still have them. PS3 though. Hell no. <laughs> I, don't, I cannot. I can't do expert. Only a couple songs. Actually, I take it back. A couple songs I can do expert, but not all the time. Hmm. The go-to song. So whenever, we, when I had only one guitar, my sister would want to play. So I would pick the longest song. So I think it was one by Metallica and Guitar Hero Three. And um, I think that was the go-to. There's a couple more, but that was the go-to. Let's see here. <laughs> Justin Bieber, huh? Well, Secret's out been for a while now. Yeah, Bieber songs before um, each game, at least one or two. Been doing that since my first college championship. I haven't looked back. Top three Bieber songs, probably Company, uh, Somebody, and uh, Probably no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, so it was kind of before I became a beer fan. Um, I was still in high school. Um, yeah, my sister and my mom got tickets and um, it was like a no brainer for me. I just, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. Um, but uh, I don't know if I regret that. I don't know. But uh, I made up for it, I made up for it. What uh, when did you start with uh, My sister actually, Introduced me to his Purpose album, and um, and it was, it was good. Nah, it was just it was really good stuff. And uh, at first, I was like against it. I was like, I'm not gonna listen to this. And then um, end up listening to it, and it became a ritual. And then uh, yeah, now when he comes out with new music, and um, downloading, I'm listening to it. I haven't seen this book in a very long time. Whenever we got a chance to do summer reading, like in elementary school, I think I just read this over and over again every other year. It's one of my favorite books for sure. I totally forget what it's about, but it's one of my favorite books. Um, I tried, I tried, and then I think video games came calling, so then I put the books down and go to the video games. Um, only read what was required, let's just say that. Um, I think it's my first time picking up a book since college, so yeah, I haven't read. Only thing I read is Twitter. Diary Wimpy Kid. Where'd you hear this from? You don't remember? Because there's, there's one or two ways. Who told you? Just, just give me a hint. Who told you this? It can't be mom. It can't be mom. If it's if you if you say my mom, you're lying. 
<laughs> because it was definitely my sister. Okay, I, I, it was definitely my sister. And there's this one, I don't know which Diary of Wimpy Kid book, I actually never read these, but there's one part of a book where it was a running joke with me and my sister for like five to six years. And um, yeah, because I never read it, but that was the only part of the book I saw and I just ran with it for forever. So. It was, the guy was writing um, about his day and how, how he like talked about all his injuries and he was, he said he had a busted chin from um, falling, <laughs> trying to get up from sitting on the toilet too long. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we could just move on. <laughs> we could just move on. <laughs>